This is a video recording for small incision cataract surgery. The conjunctiva is open with a Westcott scissors, sufficiently large opening after ballooning it up with local anesthesia. You can use your choice of anesthetic. I prefer a peribulbar block, but you can do it even under topical. The uh, bleeders are cauterized, very light cautery is done. Approximately 6 mm incision is made with a, with a keratome, blunt keratome. And then the eye is entered with a 2.8 mm sharp keratome. Visco is spread onto the cornea so that the assistant doesn't have to continuously wet the cornea. Some amount is put into the eye. And then a bent 26 gauge needle is used to make a circular capsular axis in the usual way. Everyone has their own. You can use a forceps. I prefer a, a bent 26 gauge and then remove the circular capsule with a forceps. Then do a hydro dissection. And if the nucleus pops out and you can see the nice uh, glow around it, you simply go ahead and complete your incision. And then once you've got the nucleus in the anterior chamber, you can express it out by either visco or by even hydro dissection. You, uh, hydro uh, pressure by pressing on the lower lip of the wound. Then after initial irrigation, I use the muscati cannula which has got an aspiration pot at the tip and three openings on the outer part of the thing for uh, irrigation to occur. It sucks the material quite nicely, including at the 12 o'clock position. So you get most of the cortex out. This is a Zeiss three uh, legs. IOL being put in. It's put onto the iris first, then visco is applied on top of the IOL and the legs are then gently nudged into place inside the capsular bag. I normally prefer to wash after that the residual amount of cortex and also clean under the uh, IOL to remove extra visco. I put in air to form the chamber and then cauterize lightly the edges of the wound so that it closes the scleral wound well and gives subconjunctival dexamethasone lifting the lower lip